Hello everyone, today I want to talk about um, CSGO and playing internet games or online shooters or any other online game on a connection that is a satellite internet connection. You know like the ones, you know HughesNet and all those big companies. Um, in my area, literally the only two internet providers are, if you like Netflix has a site and I'll link it below if I remember, but it'll tell you like the best internet providers from like best to worst and the two lowest ones are the only two in my area. And that is a very specific reason. Companies like that, and there's another company here in Cana called Fastlink that will just rape you on prices. I don't like to use that word like as a joke or anything, but they literally do hold you over a barrel on prices because I was originally going to go with them because I'm like oh a new internet provider in my town sure let's give like the local person a chance and I looked at their prices I think it was going to cost like over a hundred and some dollars to get three gigabyte download and I know CenturyLink offers 25 for 25 megs download for 45 bucks and when I signed up for that package the woman told me yeah it'll be 40 uh, 24 not 24 I'm getting my numbers mixed up 25 megs for $45 a month we can install it next Monday I said cool good to go they installed it in April that like I ordered this in January middle of January and they installed it the first of April like that first week of April and when I texted, I, I called the customer service people numerous times and said, hey, guess what? Um, I don't know if you know this or not, but my internet's completely crap. I'm supposed to be getting 25. Oh, we don't offer 25 in that area. Well, that's not what the lady told me. Well, blah, blah, blah. I threatened them with the lawsuit because they told me it would take uh, five to ten business days to get the recording. And then I was like, oh, it was deleted. So... That was pretty much a runaround for two months of my life. And then the internet went out. Cat, what are you doing? Sorry if you heard that clanking noise and whatever the cat's doing. But eventually, I got tired of not having internet. So I just went with a... Uh, he... What are you doing? I don't know what he's playing with. He, j he runs away. But anyways... I call it Usenet. I got the seventy some dollar package. I think it's like seventy five bucks. It's supposed to be twenty five download and like three upload. And that's not what I'm getting. And my my data rolls over on the seventh, so it's the eighth now when I'm recording this. And before I had like a room of uh, well, I don't know if I call him a roommate. A house guest an extended house guest but I went to Richmond the day before like the day before it rolled over and I was up there for three days and the second day in Richmond I got a email saying hey you used 100% of your data so that's cool but that's why it took me so long to get this I've had it now for about three or four months and it don't don't even get an Xbox or, or don't even get a PC. Don't 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 get an Xbox or PlayStation to play online games on, because it will literally be throwing money away. I've tried Dying Light. I tried WWE. I've tried Doom 2016. I've tried three or four games on my PlayStation. I just don't have a capture card for that. I didn't feel like doing all the who have get recording on the PS4 and transferring it over and editing on the PC. So I was like, I know, I'll boot up Counter Strike. I haven't played it in a long while, and I'll show you all on that because I tried it when I first got the internet put in, and it's literally unplayable. Like, I am not getting 25 download. I'm not getting the upload speeds. I'm promised. I consistently have outages. I've texted the their Twitter account repeatedly because that's honestly if you text a Twitter account of a business nowadays it's usually like within an hour they'll get back to you versus having to spend four to five hours on the phone getting transferred three or four times oh I don't know the problem or this ain't in my department after you've sit here and told them your life story 20 times 
Like, literally, they'll ask me my name, my number, what's wrong. And it'll be a 25-minute ordeal, and then they'll go, oh, well, let me put you on hold and transfer you. I remember one time with CenturyLink, I finally just said, screw it, I'm not going to stay with that, was I got home about 4.30ish one day, and I got I hung up the phone with them at around 9 o'clock that night, and my issue did not get resolved. And there's been a few nights I'll, I'll come home, now I work second shift, and my internet will reconnect, the YouTube video I was watching at work will start playing again. And I'll have internet for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then it'll just say internet not available. I'll go outside. I'll, I mean, usually it's nights that there's not even a cloud in the sky. It's like mostly starry skies, no weather to speak of, really. And I've not really been here when it's rained really bad. I know when my girlfriend bought her new car, like, there was actually a tornado a few miles from my house. And the internet was still rel like it went in and out, but it stayed on for the most part, which I was really shocked about. Cause CenturyLink, if it just had like a heavy rain, it would go out. And it's just one of these things that you got to be really careful. In these rural areas, they literally just will put the very, very bare minimum in and leave it and cause there's literally no other options. It's like, take it or leave it. Do you want internet at all? Cause it's either really, really bad internet or no internet. Those are your two options. And my, there's a town less than 15 minutes from my house that where you can get one gig internet. Both my neighbors on either side, I can pick up their spectrum Wi-Fi with three to four bars out of five. And when I call spectrum, they say this, this house is not serviceable. It's too far away. And they want to charge me twenty thousand dollars to put in a new box, and they said that would be the cost would be on you, because you're the only customer that's out of our range. Uh, my grandparents own a small store less than a mile or two from my house, and they have Spectrum Internet. Like literally, when I want to download a game, I'll literally just go up there, and it'll take like ten minutes to download an eight or nine gig game, and I'll bring it back to my house and just transfer the files. And revalidate it through Steam because it'll just take a few hours at that. And Honokai Third Impact, a mobile game, I try. There's an update for it, and it's going to take me over nine hours on my internet with the data cap replenished this month. And yeah, it is just a very, very terrible service, and I'm locked into it for two years. And I, honestly, if I could get Spectrum, I would not mind just paying it and getting out of there or whatever but it's so bad y'all um i'm gonna cut the video off right about here i'll catch you on the flip side joe remember floss thanks for watching and i'll see you next time